Queen, a Facebook Live, and I have got it. I have got it. Welcome to the Hourglass Transmissions Messages from Spirit. I'm glad that you're here today. It is, I'll have to share with you. Today's theme is why are we triggered? And the song is, How Do I Live Without You? And I'm just going to give you an advance notice as far as the card today. And it is from the Archangel Metatron Self Mastery Oracle Card Deck. And the card fell on the floor. And this is the card. Signs. Signs. And look at it. It's, it's a springtime. View from Spirit with Love. Well, I have to share with you. I live in Anchorage, Alaska. And they've just been informing us that since September, we have accumulated 103 inches of snow. So I'm wondering what kind of sign is that? What is spirit trying to tell me? with this sign. So I Googled it. And spiritual meanings of snow, winter and death. Okay, shorter days. Uh, but we're gaining time. That's one thing that we always look forward in uh, Alaska is looking forward to spring, summer, and we're gaining more time now. Um, purity and innocence, the white and delicate nature of snow is associated with innocence and purity, frozen feelings, um, associated with negativity, cold and frozen emotions. Well, you can make a choice there. Peace and tranquility. I like that one. Because when you go outside, it always seems so quiet and peaceful. And secrecy. Mm, that was surprising to see that one too. Everywhere you see is a st stunning brightness of the snow. People are full of joy building snowmen and gathering their snow memories. I have to say, the biggest thing I notice is people snow blowing their driveways and uh, just getting on along, getting on with their lives. It is what it is. So, in all of that, let's move forward to... our um, heart resonance for today. I was just checking to make sure everything was being recorded. Everything is going good. Very good. Here we go. So put your feet firmly on the floor and make a connection to Gaia. Make a connection to Gaia. Sense Ah, sense roots going from the bottom of your feet down into Gaia and making that connection. And when that happens, not only are you sending your energies down, but you're receiving the energies from Gaia coming up through the earth, up through that system, up into the soles of your feet. Take a deep breath in. And hold for the count of three. 
and exhale with a smile. <sighs> One more time. Inhale for the count of three and exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Visualize the ignition of your heart. That God spark sparking the energy of your heart, that violet flame, that three, the threefold flame in your heart. And seeing in your mind's eye, you're going through those flames back to your past your spine to that Haratu that can carry you to central sun and to the heart of Gaia. And as we step into that Haratu, we feel ourselves being propelled up, 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 up past our cosmic Christ consciousness, up past our own sun in the solar system, up, up, up up to the central sun. See yourself coming out and just floating in space in front of the central sun. And as you look at the central sun, you may see an image. You may see a sign, your own sign, Remember that sign and feel the energetics of the vibration, the frequency of the central sun being absorbed into your body. Every part of your body is being filled with the energy of the central sun. Yes. Indeed, indeed. Also, every part of your energy field is also being filled with the energy of the central sun. Give thanks and appreciation for this process, for this gift coming to you. Stretch your arms out. Stretch your arms out and feel that energetics surrounding you, surrounding you. Step back in to the Haratu. Again, giving thanks, appreciation, and gratitude to the central sun and finding yourself coming back down the Haratu. Down, 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 down past the cosmic Christ consciousness, down past your own physical body, down into Gaia, coming in through the surface, then down through the mantle. See all the different areas of Gaia that you're going through to reach the heart of Gaia. And as you come out of the heart tube and your feet are planted on the heart of Gaia. It feels automatic that you are receiving those energies from Gaia coming up through your feet, through your legs, up your torso, up into your chest, over your shoulders, down your arms, filling your fingertips, coming back up, filling your neck, your head, and the rest of your energy field. Instantaneously, feel yourself just glow. Give thanks and appreciation to Gaia for this. Notice the crystal beds. Walk in the direction of the crystal bed labyrinth. And as you move in that direction, consciously connect to Gaia 
to Mother Earth with each step you take. And as you arrive to the labyrinth, your senses are heightened. Notice what you feel, what signs you may see, hear, touch, recognize as you enter the labyrinth. Walking around at the labyrinth, continuing, continuing, and coming to the center of the labyrinth. There is a comfortable seat for you to sit in. The seat itself is a part of Gaia, but the formation, the foundation of the chair is crystals, different crystals, the kind of crystals that do not um, adversely affect you. It just feels wonderful. Take the time to take in the energetics. Take the time to sense the messages that you are receiving at this time. Pause and be at one. Now it is time for you to stand up and leave this precious area. And as you stand up, give thanks, appreciation, and gratitude. And find your way to come back out of this labyrinth, taking steps, consciously remembering each step you were connecting to Gaia, coming out of the labyrinth round and round and round, and coming to the exit, or shall we say where you started, the entrance. Turn again and give thanks, appreciation, and gratitude. Find yourself coming back over to where the heart tube is and as you get there, turn around and give thanks to Mother Earth, to Gaia for this whole experience. Finding yourself coming back up the Hara tube, up, up, up and coming into alignment with your body. Feel yourself leaving the Hara tube back into regaining the shape of your body. Sitting in your chair and feeling the expansion of your heart. This energetic expansion is from the energies that you've received from the central sun, from the heart of Gaia, and the crystal beds. Feel that expansion of your heart. Feel the energy filling your room, your house, your business, your car, your city, your state, your province, your country, your continent, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere, and going out into the quantum field, connecting with all in the quantum field, and sharing the love, light, peace, harmony, surrender, acceptance, benevolence, compassion, forgiveness, gratitude, truth and trust, abundance and prosperity, wellness, well-being, and healing. Moving up into the Emerald Grid, 
and magnifying those qualities back to earth to all those in this beautiful world and then expanding that energy out into the golden grid and magnifying those energies out into the universe out into the universe the love light peace harmony the love light peace harmony take a moment did you receive a sign Hmm. How wonderful. Namaste. Um, so, there's no surprise today. What card deck we went with. As well as the card signs the number on the card is 50 and in numerology 50 is change and i just wanted to share with you from the book there can be signs everywhere there can be signs from conversations that you may have been listening, overhearing, or even those um, messages that the other person isn't quite sure that where that came from, but it had signs for you, signs from nature, signs from animals, signs from trees, signs from numbers. If there are numbers that keep appearing to you, you can look, you can um, order the book, Digitology from Adiranda and Company, or you can find it on Amazon to refer to what numbers, the meaning of certain numbers. And... You can also just go on Google and Google the meaning of a number. Um, and know that every time you were talking to spirit, you were being heard. But you may not get the response, a booming voice telling you. It may be coming to you in signs. Think about the signs that you've already received. For a special sign between you and spirit will make you know that they are there. It may be something personal to you. You know, if you like hearts, maybe you'll see hearts. Maybe you'll see feathers from birds which is a symbol to you that it is confirmation from spirit. Signs are all around you. Open up and experience them. So let's see what spirit has to say about this. Greetings. So many things to talk about today. Mm -hmm. What triggers you? What triggers you? It may be a conversation. It may be energetics. It may be something from a past life. It may be something that you were so familiar with that you react 
when it is brought into your space. You may be triggered from the loss of a relationship, trying to understand why. It may be that the relationship had boundaries. It was only there to be an opportunity for you to maybe receive signs, maybe to receive information, maybe to receive love. Let us hope that you experience love during your encounters. But know that relationships don't always last a lifetime. It may be that this relationship came into your space, your being, for a particular reason. Instead of getting upset, sad, feeling rejection, look at it this way. What did you learn from this experience? What gift did you receive during this experience? What were you able to give during this experience? See that it is going both ways. Relationships are a two-way street, you might say. Give thanks and appreciation and gratitude for the experience. Because you have grown in some way during that period. And once you receive that, it just continues to allow you to grow. You are never the same person. You are never the same person. You are always growing and learning. You might say, well, I don't feel like I learned anything. I feel like maybe it was a mistake. No, there are never any mistakes. There are never many, any, any, any mistakes. Because this is your life. What symbols do you see in your life? Do you see symbols that give you confirmation? Do you see symbols that allow you to smile? We go back to this song. How can I live without you? You've had many experiences in your life with relationships. These relationships happen and you move on. You may have another relationship. It happens. 
and you move on. Be grateful for those opportunities. Because it gave you an opportunity to grow. To know that maybe what came through the relationship was a recognition of who you are. It is a recognition that you are unique. You can choose to accept what you've been told, or you can choose to release and let go of that which did not serve you. You are having the opportunity to grow through your experiences. Just because somebody said something to you does not mean that is the way it is. You get the opportunity to digest as you do in every meal. And in that digestion, you are able to determine what is good for you and what isn't. Look back at some of those relationships you've had that you have judged. When you digest them, was there something good that came out of it? Even, even if it meant, yes, it was good that they left. You are a unique individual. You are a child of God, a child of the Creator. And you are not alone. You are loved and you are magnificent. You are having an experience on earth. Many experiences that you can grow from. And you can assist others in their growth as well. So today... Ask for a sign. Look for signs. Even if you have to Google the meaning, derive the intention. Yes, indeed. We love you. We honor you. And we bid you. Thank you for joining me on the Hourglass Transmissions on Facebook Live, and you can also watch on YouTube. Thank you. See you next week. Namaste.